the Muslim Students Association at the University of Wisconsin may have crossed the line of decency last week while trying to protest a guest speaker on their campus. The cartoon on your screen right now depicts our next guest in an anti-Semitic caricature that was circulated across the Milwaukee campus. Here to respond, author of Party of Defeat, David Horowitz. What happened, David? Uh, well, I was scheduled for a speech. Uh, they distributed this. They put it up in the Student Union, the Muslim Students Association. The university considered the threat of violence real enough so that they, they assigned uh, metal detectors. All the students had to go through metal detectors. There were about 12 security guards and staffers. Right. Uh, about 15 people had to be ejected um, from the speech. Uh, the Muslim Students Association is, uh, is an arm of the Muslim Brotherhood. It's treated as an ethnic or religious group by university administrators and it's funded, uh, very well funded, by uh, university funds, right. student funds, but it, is a, uh, it was a creation of the Muslim Brotherhood. It's a supporter of the Jihad. Okay, I want to get back to what happened to you. They, they called you a Judeo-fascist, and you wrote, well, they called the Jew a Nazi, of course, which is a horrible thing. You, in your book, Shadow Party, refer to George Soros uh, as a, a Nazi collaborator. Uh, isn't that basically the same thing? Well, he was. But are you, he, well, he was 14 years old I, at the I, time, and you're calling, calling a Jew a Nazi. a Nazi. They are calling me a Nazi because I'm a Jew. Uh, George Soros went around with a, a Nazi sponsor um, during the occupation by the Nazis. He was 14. Uh, getting information from Jews who were, uh, had their property confiscated before they were sent to the gas chambers. That's really irrelevant well, here. No, it's the same have, thing. You're calling a no, Jew a Nazi. You're week, calling Al, Soros a no, Nazi, and he was 14 years old well, at the time. It's a distraction from the, the point here is not that I was called a Nazi. The point here is that there are 150 Muslim students associations which are coddled by university administrations and treated as though they were ethnic or religious groups when they are political groups that are arms of the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the fountainhead of the terrorist jihad against the West. Next week is the 60th anniversary of the creation of the Jewish state. On campuses across this country, the Muslim uh, Students Association is holding demonstrations calling the creation of a Jewish state a catastrophe and inviting anti-Semitic, anti-Jewish, anti-Israel speakers to campus to attack the very existence of the state of Israel. This should be of concern to every Look, American. Look, I decry anti-Semitism, and, and I'm Jewish, and it, it's very, very troubling. You had something called Islamo-Fascist Awareness Week. They mocked that by calling it Horowitz Awareness Week. But, you know, what, was, what you're doing, though, is, is can be perceived and is perceived by many as knocking an entire religion, the Muslim faith, the Islamic faith. So both well, are wrong. Contrary, Going after uh, any religion is wrong. On the, I, well, on the contrary, the Islamofascism Awareness Week was to highlight the oppression of Muslim women in Muslim countries, uh, was uh, pro-Muslim women. And uh, hey, a David. lot of... We have a lot of groups supporting us that are Muslim. David, let, let me run to your defense here. You, there's no moral equivalency. This, this cartoon is what you'd see in Nazi Germany, as far as I'm concerned. This is a disgraceful display uh, that, that you had to endure here. When you talk about Islamic fascism or Islamic extremism, you're making a distinction between those that believe God is inspiring them to kill innocent men, women, and children, and that they're going to be re rewarded in heaven, uh, and that this is a religious act. You're very clear in your distinction. Right. I submitted a declaration against genocide to 100 Muslim Students Association groups. Uh, none of them responded. All I asked was that they would condemn Hamas and Hezbollah yeah. which are genocidal organizations and that they distance themselves or repudiate the saying of the prophet. Now this is up on the uh, University of Southern California website of the Muslim Students Association. It says that the day of judgment will come when Muslims fight Jews and kill them, when the Jews hide behind the rocks and the trees and the rocks and the trees cry out, oh Muslim, well, there's a Jew hiding behind me, come and kill him. That is here's genocidal. The David, because you, you go on campus, and here is this, this cartoon that greets you. The security is beefed up here. It's the Muslim Students Association at the University of Wisconsin. So my question to you is, what is going to happen to these people that are involved in this, and what is the university's role here, and why aren't these kids being thrown out of school? Well, uh, or I got put on probation, to say the least. They tore down 
2,000 flyers advertising the event. Um, the, I was not the first. They obstructed uh, w Wally Shubat uh, tried to speak uh, the, the month before. The same thing happened to him. He's a former suicide bomber who's now reformed and preaches against uh, the jihad. The fact is, nothing's going to be done because the you know I talked to the campus security police. They they don't even take names. That's unbelievable. Uh, I said, well, if you don't take names of students doing, you know, that you have to eject, the university pays thousands of dollars yeah. uh, for the security. They have no, the, the university administrators across the country re, will refuse to enforce their own rules and their own campus discipline. I think the public needs well, to express its views, and particularly in Wisconsin where the taxpayers are uh, funding this. All right, David, uh, sad, and uh, I give you a lot of courage. You, you've been going around campuses all around the country, and uh, I know you've met fierce opposition. You've got uh, a lot of bravery and courage, and this is the defining issue of our time. So thank you for being with us, my friend. Thank you. All right, and coming up, photo.